And a big turnaround today. Sony Pictures has now changed its mind. It is going to allow theaters to screen the controversial satirical comedy movie The Interview in a limited relief of release of the film. And despite the threats from cyber terrorists to Sony and the theaters that scream the film and to people who go and watch it, at least two local theaters here are going to bring it to the big screen in western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin is live tonight in Lancaster. Well, this is the place to be if you want to watch this film, the interview the day after Christmas. It's one really of only a few select number of theaters nationwide that has agreed to show that controversial film. Now, just hours ago, Sony reversed its decision to table the comedy and now says it will be released on Christmas Day. That release, however, not as big as Sony had anticipated. Dips in theaters here in Lancaster, as well as another location. Location in Lakeview announced today it will be showing the film. Last week, a hacker group linked to North Korea threatened to carry out a 9 11 type attack on any theater that showed the movie, which is about a fake mission to kill North Korean leader Kim Jong un. Moviegoers that we talked to tonight say that Sony should have never pulled the plug on the, fil on the film. What do you think about Sony's decision to say, okay, we're scrapping the movie? I thought it was weak and that they should have stuck to their plan to release it because we are America and I think we kind of have the final say what we can see in our theaters. No one can censor us. We hope all moviegoers that are interested in seeing the movie would support the theatrical run by seeing the interview in a movie theater where movies are meant to be seen on the big screen. The interview will debut here at Flick Stadium in Lancaster starting the day after Christmas with five showings each day. Back out here live, we did ask the vice president of Dipson Theaters if they're going to incorporate any extra security precautions when this film is released, and he declined to comment on that. For now, we're live in Lancaster. Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.